This is disgusting. There are fundamental errors where it is genuinely gross and vile. There's something so off about this. It's some burnt piece of garbage. Or it's just so overpriced, it's like you're burning your money. What's even the point? And then, you know, the best part is that you're burning your money for absolute garbage. It's just been awful. It's quite frankly disgusting. Hello, beta testers. I think you should know they don't want to make video games. They want to make movies. Now that gaming happens to be the most lucrative branch of entertainment, we're going to be seeing a lot of this woke cringe. Many of these game developers have known only the smell of their team's farts inside the gas and echo chamber they've been calling a studio for damn near half a decade. So they not only lack the talent to be recognized on their own like children, they have latched on to properties that unfortunately, as great as they are, cannot support their adult weight. I was going to include a montage of bad writing in video games, but hopefully I can just splash this up and call it a day, right? You know, I just killed a studio with my freaking mind, or if you're Saints Row's volition, you know, you just killed your own studio with freaking incompetence. Like roaches, when a light's turned on too abruptly, they scurry and hide, sweet baby private in them tweets, ooh. But their connections and resume speak for itself. And if they continue to endeavor so aggressively to silence gamers, I guess they're going to be educated on what the Streisand effect really is. How much they must have to hide to flinch so violently at the very whisper of their name among whom they consider the wrong types. Doesn't sound very inclusive to me. And that's what they're all about, isn't it? Inclusivity, representation, who diversity and opportunities for the marginalized. But what about the people who are skilled or trained or talented or would probably, by definition, be a better fit for these jobs than just like, oh, they ticked this fucking box. Because we're all human in the end, you know what I mean? We need escapes. When I was younger, the universe of Marvel captivated me, and however cynical they may have been behind the scenes, what I saw appealed, resonated. Aspects of the experience molded me, and I carry it always. It's a percentage of the amalgam of the man I've become, and I'd never dream of taking a similar experience so potentially beneficial from anyone but woke needs to destroy. It gleefully does so, and as it approaches my beloved X-Men, I'm losing control. On stream one night, I spoke out about how some activist tourists were just diving into other people's communities with the blatant intention of trying to ruin or having, I don't know, things become ugly because they gotta, it's, it's, everything's a self-insert, you know, student debt. On stream, I said people are starting to regard these people like they do climate activists, blocking the street, throwing paint all over things, damaging ancient art. The following day, a 77-year-old man took the lives of two people blocking the street, climate activists. We're seeing people harassing delivery guys for, for TikTok and YouTube. Some moron goes to Japan and is harassing the locals and it's like, uh, what can we do but collectively shrug? Because we are not evil for the recognition that the find out part follows the fucking around. And if I'm honest, and I should get to be on my channel harmlessly, it's obvious that the people claiming oppression plus ultra don't know what struggling is. They ignorantly defy how luxurious their expectations of life are that their bold attempt at forcing their genjutsu on reality. It's, it's impressive, but 
Nah, man. The internet's a big place full of fake people putting on their best impression of a person that they hope people will take seriously. But some of us hefty gentlemen and curvy uman dem have enough heat coming off our genitals to be real so we know what real sounds like. And sometimes when you get someone talking long enough, the real slips out. The non-performance? I've listened to a great deal of what entities representing the groups rewriting video games have had to say, and they do not represent unity. They represent division. They do not pursue or strive for the best. They only seek to serve the purpose of spreading their message. They hope to tip the scales and do not hide that balance is not the objective, but they wish to tip the scales in their favor. Control is necessary. These people are a cult. And it's so fucking boneheaded how much they've said out loud that it's almost amusing lunacy. And usually how close I am to Baka bullshit doesn't fucking diminish how funny it is to me. But I guess I must like video games or something because it actually pisses me the fuck off. But I'll reserve and restrain myself because if I don't, then I'd be they, them. Did you see the game that had the ugly bitch, you know what I'm talking about? And again, I can, they're, they're digital characters, they're series of ones and zeros, they're, they've been created. I don't know why the final product is this ugly, J Japan doesn't have these kinds of issues, South Korea doesn't have these kinds of issues, mobile games don't have these kinds of issues, it's just the West that's really trying to choke us with the message and recognizing it is evil. Y'all niggas are puppets and this is a me thing, fuck you. <laughs> Look, that ugly bitch video game, <clears throat> it's looking like people like actually need, they need people to make it. You know what I'm saying? What? Whoa. Oh man, they didn't think about that. They were advertising the game and they need people to make the game. Man, you know that one guy left the Fable team to join the Sushi Squad team who had uh, equally as terrible a reception. <laughs> Fucking justified. Repulsive. You're supposed to appeal not repel and sweet baby in case anyone forgot is also treating the story for sushi squad who uh you know the nine years later version of the of the freshmen's wearing the rock star studio skin is all is definite this game's definitely in the arkham universe mm -hmm. and you race swapped the, the character yeah you know, some, someone's definitely going to be vitiligo and an amputee in your game because how else will people feel seen? We should also cater to people who cannot see by having like entirely dark portions of the game, right? We should cater to people who like can't hear by just having like entirely silent portions of the game, you know? Because it would be a cop out not to do that, you know? Ableist even. Like, what if we made all the women look like men? Oh my god, well, that, wait, that's, that's for real. <laughs> I don't know what's, what part's the real part and what's the joke part. <laughs> Look, speaking of accessibility, I've been made to understand that sweet baby that's been operating and neutering stories for a number of years has a website entirely in English with no French version available, which is not cool in Quebec. Like, OQLF might fine your ass, not cool. And I'm not saying this to like... Eh, here we go, man. <laughs> I'm not, you know, my point is... Practice what you preach when facts, reality, or what some of us refer to as science is something you consider disagreeable, pronoun activist. A War on Titties showcases how necessary it was to push them out of sight. That's how little of a chance you stood next to them natties. Natural beauty. You're offended by the word natural as well. What else but a monster? could not only be offended by beauty and sex, but need to deprive everyone else, regardless of their input or stance, of something so harmless as a movie, a TV show, a video game, a comic book, with a pretty big titty femme fatale? We would gladly have tolerated you 
and made you pay your dues until there was a new bottom of the totem pole that you could kick to. But y'all got greedy. Let people laugh. It's all some of them have at this point. If you were gonna listen, you'd have listened already. And I say that as the embodiment of the everyman's general sentiment. Did y'all hear that Sony was going to delay six out of their 12 upcoming live service games because Sony really cares about quality? <laughs> I'd need, need a big ass bag to read that without laughing. Recently, WB pledged devotion to the live service cause and to fans clinging to hope that uh, the Kevin Conroy's last game performance as Batman might be good. I'm here to tell you. That it'll be good if you like mid because, uh, ooh, a sweet baby's treating that sushi squad story just like they treated Spider Man 2. See my videos on that topic. And Alan Wake, a game that can be summarized with the fact that they race swapped the lady character who takes up 10 out of the 15 hours in the story. That's all I need to hear. It's a shame other people can't fucking summarize some shit like that. That's the review. Damn. Oh, okay. You mean she used to be a white lady and now she's not. And now she make up the majority of the game. Like two thirds of that bitch. And from what I understand, her portions are significantly worse. It's almost like they just threw in some filler for an episode of a TV show that they were making because they wanted to write like they were a movie, like a Netflix thing instead of a video game. What did I start the video by saying? <laughs> I know it sounds like a ramble, but I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Let me take your ass around the world, okay? My goal is simply to inform you so that people can make better decisions, context so people don't have to guess at the puzzle with only two pieces. To anybody who may have wanted me to include clips of them huffing their own farts, you know, I don't have a problem with it as long as it's consensual in the same way that uh, I wish we could kind of have our conversation without them forcing themselves to overhear it. You know, Sony trying to make these games more movie experiences with quick time unpause events, you know, make quick time events and unpause the same term, you know, that's what's going on here. So many can I just play moments <laughs> multiple times and you've had it. You've had it if you've been playing these games and it wouldn't feel so awful if the writing wasn't all so forespoken and the inclusion cult pussying up the story is not helping thank god damage was done during the state of play for sushi squad by the time the game comes out it will have been nine years since the arkham games painstakingly crafted with passion and autism by a team under studio founders jamie walker and sefton hill and even though the pronoun police games journalists imply that there's anything to be ashamed of with work that is timeless, legendary, the gamers will remember Arkham to the point where maybe they'll buy it again and again and again and oh, there it is on the Switch and oh, I got a new skin for Robert Pattinson. Oh, I'll have that. Oh, mm, I'm Robert Williams. See what I mean? I'm sorry. Well, the current woke rock steady uh, that the founders departed, you know, have made it pretty clear through their uh, rough Harley and wonder entity look at this harley what a downgrade and masculine wonder person with the design to rival meaty jowls from spider-man sushi squad is uncooked a downgrade with all the years separating it what a shame what a shame how hilarious that you expect money for microtransactions when your miserable cult swallows their agenda so hard that pretty women are Something to resent. Beta testers, I am ready to laugh and I apologize for the ignorance knowing me is going to rob you of because ignorance is bliss. And I know a great many of you can never not notice things from now on. And that's good. We have thoroughly warned these people, but I feel like the beehives have been kicked enough. They can take me out, man, but we gonna take them out to the balls game. 
Ooh, couldn't keep them all in your purse, could you? Some of our balls nice and slimy. We're going to gear you. Uh, ooh, call me X because I'm going to give it to you. Arr, 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 arr. I'll tell you a secret. I am as hyped for Sushi Squad as some people are for the Marvels and Snow White flopping. Okay? Because Ugly Harley is the next ESG slop waddling out. Some burnt piece of garbage. Slop, for lack of a better word. <laughs> and they had, they had the palm. <laughs> Man. It's disgusting. <laughs> Stop. Give me my breath back. Ah, somebody give Harley her breasts back. Gay men have more fun than this. Drag queens have more fun than this. What? weird cult seized control in there that's just like anti-sex uh, uh, i am grossed out by that it's about to start losing y'all money big money Ooh, maybe it's already begun Ooh, maybe it's already begun i'm not enjoying it or anything you know what i mean i'm just saying fuck man i can't talk about anything on my channel thanks for tuning in i'm kidding i'll see you guys later i'm sorry you know i'm not gonna get anywhere i've i've, I've written some things down and it's just <laughs> i'm just ready to laugh at this point fuck all of this because it's stupid <laughs>